I got all my functions with me. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, I forgot you were here. Uh, we are looking today at families of functions. And yes, there are several families of functions. In fact, one of them, just as simple as y equals x. Let me make this a little more bold. Um, another one would be like y equals x squared. Okay, or another family, y equals absolute value of x. There are many different families of functions, um, and these are called parent functions. A parent function is simply the, the simplest form in a set of functions that forms a family. Uh, each set of functions um, in the family is a transformation of the parent function. All right. A translation um, will shift the graph of the parent function, either horizontally or vertically or both, with or without, um, without changing the shape or the orientation. So let's look at a couple of transformations. All right, first of all, um, let's look at a vertical translation. Um, since you're so familiar with the absolute value of x, we'll just use the absolute value one. So our family that we're using is absolute value. It works for any of the families. All right. So if I say y equals, um, for vertical translation, it's our f of x plus k. This is a vertical translation. Now. If I had y equals f of x minus k. Now, plus means it moves up, k units. And minus k means moves down k units. All right, let's take a look with our absolute value. So if we have y equals absolute value of x. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, if we said plus 6. Oh, well, that means our value of k is positive 6. So this will move up 6 units. So if we were told to describe the shift or describe um, the translation, you would say moves up six units. Now, another type of translation that we have would be horizontal, where vertical travels up and down, Horizontal will travel across. Okay, so horizontal. These are trickier than the vertical. Okay. All right. Here, it, we describe it like this. We would say y equals f of x plus h in parenthesis. Ah, see, this will move this, moves left h units. Okay, and you might say, well, why would this move to the left? It says plus h. Wouldn't it move to the right? No. And here's why. If you take what's inside of the parentheses, x plus h, set it equal to 0, and solve for x, what happens is x is a negative movement. It moves 
negative h units horizontally. Well, negative is to the left. So when it's solved for x, that's when you see the negative. So this can be really tricky. So you got to really watch horizontal. Now, we also have to where we can move to the right. How can we move to the right? Well, if f of x plus h moved to the left, then y equals f of x minus h would move to the right. And it moves h units. So, if I had y equals our absolute value of x minus 3, you notice this is inside of the absolute value, inside, so this is going to be a horizontal movement, and it moves to the right h units. So, our description would be moves right h, which h was 3, so we'd say 3 units. Let me erase that. Alrighty. Moves right 3 units. Alright, so let's go and we can enjoy our function families. Have a great day, everyone. And keep those functions moving.